come here to see Bertie anyway, even if I don't have my hair cut. So I go past and say hello to him. <laughs> So his uh, job role, if you like, is he meets and greets people. Um, that's what he loves doing all day long. So he generally sits by the door. Uh, and then when the salon is busy and with clients, then he just walks around to each chair and he sort of gives everyone a bit of a cuddle. It makes for a nice atmosphere, quite comforting and homely and friendly. So it definitely adds to the experience. Huxley, sit. Good boy. Okay. You're going to introduce this to all our nice customers? Okay. Ready? No, that's, don't let dinosaurs. All about the dinosaurs. Good man. Okay. Three, two, one. Huxley. Oh, good work. Oh, great work, Hux. Hux. Good man. It's a point of accessibility. You know, if you love a dog, you know, you're going to go, oh, look at that dog photo. Oh, look at that book. Oh, a dog's reading a book. You know, it's a lead on effect. Um, you grab people that might not follow you purely because you're a bookshop or a coffee shop or a bar. Um, people are following you for, for his personality, for what he's up to. Um, and then by that, by default, they end up becoming interested in his business, where he lives, what he does, and eventually walk through the door. Hey. Always need help. You know that. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think if I did walk past a cafe and saw a dog, yeah, I most definitely, I'm more likely to choose that cafe over its neighbouring one based on the fact that there's a dog inside it. Just it kind of draws me in. <laughs> Looking at the camera, he's not quite sure about the whole thing. He's not, is he? He's pulling me he's over. Waving. So he pets his pet. The research by American Express looking at the effects of having a pet in a small shop I think is really interesting because it confirms what we probably intuitively know, which is that pets are not only good for our health, but they can be good for our wealth, particularly if you have them in a small business environment where customers are going to be drawn in to interact with the dog or come in and it's a really good icebreaker. Every now and again people are afraid, um, it's very, very few people I'm pleased to say, Brighton and Hove is a real good sort of dog community so I think it's very few people, but when they come in you know, we always say we've got two dogs um, and these two will run and greet you which probably isn't the best thing if you're afraid but actually if I come with them and you can actually hopefully overcome some people's fears, some people will just run out of the shop but it's very few <laughs> to be honest.
Small Business Saturday is a perfect time to celebrate small businesses, both the unique opportunities that it affords a small business owner uh, in terms of the fact that they can choose to bring their dog or their children or whatever into their workplace and actually make that a part of the attraction of the business, but also for you know the local community. It's a great way of having small businesses where you've got that homely feel and a dog in the window is just a perfect way of giving that welcoming attraction to a small shop. Yeah. Oh, did a lot 